in this video, what we'll be looking at are properties of quadrilaterals. Now, in previous videos, I've stated uh, quadrilaterals, all the angles add up to 360 degrees, and that's very important. So the main quadrilaterals you're going to see are, one, you've got parallelograms. Okay, so we've got parallelograms. So those two sides are parallel, parallel. And what we know about parallelograms is, well, these two sides have to be the same, and these sides have to be the same. Okay? All right, and we also have diagonals here that come across. All right. And they intersect. Okay, we also have just our normal rectangle. Now with a rectangle, we have this side is the same as this side. This side here is the same as this side. And all our angles are right angles. Add up to 360 degrees. We also have a rhombus. A rhombus is like a square tilted on its side. All four sides are the same and all sides are parallel as well. Okay, so it's a parallelogram but square. Now those sides are equal. Now one thing we need to know about a rhombus and a parallelogram that this angle here equals that angle and that angle here equals this angle. Sorry, A. So the diagonal angles are the same for both rhombuses and parallelograms. Okay? And you'll notice they when we intersect, we've got triangles there, and properties of triangles can help us solve parallelograms. But they're for later videos. We also have the quadrilateral that most of us all know. The square. All four sides are the same, and all four angles are the same, and they are all 90 degrees, or right angles. There's also trapezium, another quadrilateral, four-sided shape. With a trapezium, these are generally parallel. Well, they are parallel, not generally parallel, they are parallel. And one of the last quadrilaterals that we'll deal with are, is, sorry, a kite. Now, as you see, we draw down here, and we've got a kite. We've got these sides here the same. These angles here are the same. These angles here are the same, okay? So there are our six versions of quadrilaterals. The thing they have in common is that the sum of the angles always adds up to 360 degrees. Like a circle, all four angles add up to 360 degrees. Now, you can see they all have specific properties that they have, like with this square up here, if we drew diagonals, all those four triangles would be the same. Okay. That would equal that, and that would equal that. All right, all our sides would be the same. All right, and for our rhombus, the opposite sides are parallel, the opposite angles are equal inside. And one thing that's very interesting with the rhombus is that where they intersect, that's actually right angle there. Okay, so we have right angles where they intersect. So these are helpful hints to know when it comes to quadrilaterals.